And there was definitely a touch that brought down Abate, but uh, warranted a yellow card or not. Right. Free kick swung in, Mexis and Handanovic, and it's oh, a, the flag's up. Flag is up for offside. Alex thought he'd scored. And the Milan fans are closer to breaking the deadlock. Here's the replay. Alex was offside, and De Jong as well, playing at the ball. And he <laughs> trying to get out of their defensive third. A good pass forward for Hernanes is tracked by De Jong. The ball forward. Here's a good one for Riccardi. A chance for Inter Palacio. But the flag is up for offside. The flag was up with the pass through for Riccardi. And we've had a second goal disallowed for offside. Let's see here the run from Hernanes. And offside against Icardi. A good decision from the touch judge once again. As Palacio finished this one behind Diego Lopez. But he wouldn't have counted. And then Ranocchia puts it back into the mix. De Jong's the header. Finds Van Ginkel. Vidic now looks for Icardi. The ball into the box for Palacio. Controls it. Palacio, the shot. And Maxi somehow stops Stop the Alex. ball. Venturing out of his defensive line. And finds Kovacic through the middle for Hernanes. Now runs away from De Jong. Again, D'Ambrosio out wide. Palacio. Difficult pass to retain, but he's managed to do so. D'Ambrosio. Cardi's in the middle. Here's Palacio in the middle for the shot coming in from Kovacic. And it was off target. Here's the earlier chance that we've been wanting to see. The ball bouncing off the chest hit and then perhaps touching the arm, but certainly not a penalty. Even though he knew fine well where he's at. Palacio skips away from the challenge of De Jong. He's over halfway. He's got Hernanes on his left. Icardi on his right. He uses Hernanes in the box now. Chance for Inter. The cross in the middle. And it's an own goal. Inter have the lead in the derby. It's Philippe Maxes who fell over the ball when there was no danger whatsoever. 27th minute in the second half. Inter 1, Milan 0. The goal won't stand well and Mancini is laughing about it but this one hurts this is incredible you can't quite understand but Luca Banti the referee has uh, disallowed the goal Paleta went over to Mexico and says don't worry Philly it's not going to count and let's see here Palacio to Hernanes, and then the contact between Palacio. Well, where's the contact? At the, edge, at the edge of the box there. And that is why the goal was disallowed. Palacio then coming back into play, even though a player standing in your path is not going to be a foul. And Nexes breathes a sigh of relief, but that is a decision which I really can't agree with. Well, uh, two disallowed goals for Inter in the second half, and also... ...says went through his head as he tripped up over the ball. Here you can see it there, and perhaps Palacio also... The outside of the area. Well, ...yet going for Antonelli, dragging him back, and seen from that angle, Palacio didn't raise his arms, did go for the shirt, and so... It's still a, a dodgy decision. Bundle the ball into the net, neither could Juan Jesus. How have Milan survived the second half? Obi swings it at the far post this time. Dumbro uh, it's uh, Shakiri rather, controls it. Waits for support. Here's Hernanes, puts it on his left. Still going Hernanes, filters it through for Ricardi. Went for the return pass, now Juan Jesus has it. The shot from Juan Jesus and the save from Diego Lopez. In the 34th minute of the second half, Inter are pushing. It's, got, it's corner number nine now for Inter. Great determination by the Nerazzurri here. Hernanes just poking the ball away from Bonaventura. It was